Today's video is sponsored by Incogni, but more about them at the end of the video. Albert Einstein once suggested that no matter how advanced our telescopes might become, we would never be able to directly witness the very onset of the universe. However, a remarkable discovery by the Webb telescope has unveiled something extraordinary that may closely relate to the Big Bang. Instead of revealing the expected stars and galaxies, the telescope has captured images of an immense void, an unexpected emptiness in space that raises profound questions about the origins of everything we know. This groundbreaking finding has the potential to offer critical insights into our existence and illuminate the conditions that prevailed in the universe's infancy. Einstein's intuition that we might be limited in our ability to observe certain cosmic events appears increasingly valid. How can we successfully observe an occurrence that seemingly radiated no light? Not only did this event unfold in utter darkness, but it was also of such colossal magnitude that it challenges our understanding of physical laws. Current scientific theories posit that our universe emerged from an infinitesimal singular point approximately 13.8 billion years ago. This singularity originated from a state of perfect equilibrium, disrupted by a minuscule irregularity, setting the stage for the cosmos as we know it today. Intriguingly, remnants of this original state are believed to reside in the densest regions of black holes scattered throughout the universe. The gravitational pull exerted within these black holes is so extraordinarily powerful that it approaches infinite levels, baffling our measurement techniques. The Webb Telescope, NASA's latest and most advanced space observatory, has captured stunning images of a black hole alongside a vast void that may represent conditions just after the Big Bang, potentially preceding the formation of the universe's first stars. To envision the early universe is to imagine a hot, dense mixture of particles and radiation rapidly expanding. This object was first discovered using this redshift 12 object. that's redshift mm -hmm. object 12 was discovered as a candidate using jwst but, you know here are a whole bunch of objects that could be redshift 12. initially there was no conventional light as we recognize it today because photons the fundamental particles of light were continuously interacting with dense clouds of free protons and electrons unable to traverse the vacuum of space unimpeded it was roughly 380,000 years after the Big Bang that the universe cooled sufficiently to permit the formation of the first neutral atoms, primarily hydrogen and helium. This cooling allowed photons to finally move freely, resulting in the cosmic microwave background radiation that permeates the universe today. Despite this, the universe remained shrouded in darkness, as no light sources, such as stars or galaxies, had yet formed. Several hundred million years after the Big Bang, the epoch of reionization began, marked by the emergence of the first stars and galaxies. These young, high-temperature stars emitted intense ultraviolet radiation, ionizing the surrounding neutral hydrogen gas. This process of ionization split hydrogen atoms into protons and free electrons, thereby increasing increasing the universe's permeability to ultraviolet and visible light. The formation of these primordial stars and galaxies was catalyzed by gravitational forces, leading to the condensation of gas clouds, primarily consisting of hydrogen and helium. Within these condensed regions, pressure and temperature escalated to levels conducive for nuclear fusion to ignite in the cores of the first stars, producing light and illuminating the cosmos for the very first time. The intense radiation emitted by these early stars played a a crucial role in the reionization process, gradually rendering the universe more transparent. Their illumination was powerful enough to ionize the dense fog of neutral hydrogen that had engulfed the universe until that pivotal moment. This series of events not only transformed the cosmos, but also laid the groundwork for the rich tapestry of galaxies, stars, and planets that would eventually populate the universe. This ongoing cosmic process, known as reionization, persisted until the entire intergalactic 
intergalactic medium was predominantly ionized, marking the end of the Dark Ages and heralding the universe's transition into an era that resembles our current understanding of its structure and evolution. For a while, we call the Dark Ages, right? So no stars are yet made. Uh, the universe has to expand and cool enough for matter to coalesce and make stuff. That's right. This pivotal moment signified the point at which the universe became transparent, allowing light to propagate freely through the cosmos. For a long time, scientists operated under the premise that this significant milestone occurred approximately 380,000 years following the Big Bang. When the Big Bang up to the time that matter and energy separates, right? That's uh, 380,000 years or so. Right. That's still secure. That's There's still nothing secure. that's challenging that. So the work that Cobb and Turner did in the early universe book, even decades ago, still applies. However, the advent of the Webb telescope, celebrated as the most advanced and powerful telescope ever built, has opened new avenues for uncovering the mysteries surrounding the universe's origins. Equipped with 16 meticulously arranged honeycomb-shaped mirrors and cutting-edge infrared technology, the Webb telescope captures faint light signals that have traveled an astonishing 13.5 billion years across the universe. This remarkable achievement has already led to the discovery of ancient galaxies, pushing the boundaries of our cosmic knowledge. Now, it has made yet another groundbreaking revelation, the detection of a black hole that existed a mere 500 million years after the Big Bang. This discovery profoundly challenges our existing understanding of the early universe and the types of celestial objects it harbored. The black hole in question, while not among the largest known, is strikingly ancient and unusually massive, weighing in at approximately 10 million times the mass of our Sun. Black holes are often described as regions of immense gravitational pull, where matter has collapsed in on itself, creating an area so devoid of normal matter that it cannot be observed directly. Despite their apparent emptiness, black holes exhibit a remarkable property, their gravity. This extraordinary gravitational force allows them to attract and consume surrounding matter in a manner that seems almost magical. This raises an intriguing question. How can something that appears so empty possess such immense weight? Scientists theorize that black holes gain mass as they consume matter, and the enigmatic role of dark matter may also contribute to this phenomenon. Dark matter, much like black holes, remains invisible to our current observational tools, but its existence is inferred through its gravitational influence on visible matter and its effects on the curvature of space-time. In a recent observation made by the Webb telescope, researchers have noted that the black hole is growing at an astonishingly rapid pace, causing a stir of curiosity and speculation among astrophysicists. If we attempt to extrapolate the growth rates observed in present-day black holes to this particular finding, it leads to an astonishing and seemingly paradoxical conclusion. This black hole would have to be older than the universe itself. Such a scenario prompts profound questions about the nature of black holes, the makeup of the early universe, and the mechanisms driving the rapid growth of such a massive cosmic entity in its infancy. Recent theories suggest the possibility of elements of our cosmos existing in a precursor universe. There is also a hypothesis that black holes from the early universe may have had characteristics distinct from those we observe today. Discoveries made by the Webb Telescope have significantly challenged established theories and highlighted gaps in our current understanding of cosmology. Observations of enormous black holes that are growing at unprecedented rates in galaxies believed to predate the universe confront the core concepts of previously accepted theories regarding the Big Bang and its aftermath. These findings pose a significant challenge for scientists, prompting a potential reevaluation of our cosmological perspective. As a result of these advancements, new theories are emerging, while existing ones are being re-examined. For instance, the theory of variable physical constants proposes that the fundamental laws of the universe at its inception may have been quite different. Constants such as the gravitational constant or the fine structure constant might have had alternative values during the universe's early stages, possibly accounting for the rapid growth of galaxies and the enigmatic expansion of black holes. Another compelling area of exploration is quantum gravity which seeks to reconcile Einstein's general theory of relativity with the principles of quantum mechanics. While general relativity describes gravitational phenomena at large scales, 
quantum mechanics addresses the behavior of particles at the subatomic level. In the universe's earliest moments, close to the Big Bang, it is possible that quantum gravity dictated the laws of physics. However, traditional formulations of the Big Bang theory relied mainly on Einstein's framework, which may have overlooked critical factors during this dense and compact phase, leading to errors in our understanding. In conclusion, scientists are currently grappling with a complex puzzle that demands careful investigation and innovative thinking to resolve. The Big Bang Theory began in the 1920s with Belgian astronomer and priest George Lemaitre. He suggested that the universe started from a single, tiny point and expanded from a hot and dense state. He called this the hypothesis of the primordial atom. American astronomer Edwin Hubble supported this idea when he found that distant galaxies are moving away from Earth. The farther a galaxy is, the faster it moves away. This observation suggested that the universe is expanding. Over time, more theories were added to build on these ideas, shaping our understanding of the cosmos. Much of our knowledge comes from observations and calculations, but we now see phenomena that don't fit neatly into these established theories. Scientists are still researching when the first black holes formed in the universe. There are different ideas about how these black holes came to be, and researchers are working hard to learn more about the early universe. One common idea is that the first black holes formed from the remains of massive stars called Population 3 stars. These stars appeared a few hundred million years after the Big Bang and were short-lived. They likely ended their lives in massive supernova explosions, leaving behind black holes. Another idea is that some black holes could have formed even before the first stars. In certain conditions, rotating disks of dust that could form stars might collapse directly into black holes. This would mean black holes existed before the first stars. We also see supermassive black holes in the early universe, with masses millions to billions of times that of our sun. It remains a challenge to understand how these black holes became so large in such a short time. One theory is that they formed by merging smaller black holes or absorbing matter but this requires stars and matter to drop into them. The Webb telescope can help us learn more about the early universe. It can look deeper into space than any other telescope, revealing the first galaxies and quasars powered by supermassive black holes. This telescope acts like a time machine, allowing us to see light that traveled billions of years ago and offering a glimpse into the early universe. The discoveries from the Webb telescope have revealed surprising phenomena this adds mystery and encourages astronomers to find answers to these cosmic puzzles. As the telescope continues to uncover the early universe's secrets, the formation of the first black holes presents a fascinating challenge, prompting scientists to explore deeper into the mysteries of space and time. <laughs> but here's the thing, it's not only the universe that keeps secrets. Down here on Earth, your own personal data is being collected and traded in ways you can't even see. Just like the cosmos hides mysteries, thousands of companies are hiding your private information in databases, selling it to whoever pays the price. Your name, your address, even your relative's info without you ever knowing. This isn't just about spam. We're talking identity theft, scams, stalking, and massive data breaches that expose your life to complete strangers. That's where today's sponsor, Incogni, steps in. When I signed up for Incogni, I gave them permission to remove my data from broker sites. Within days, I started seeing results on the dashboard. After a week, I noticed several major data brokers had already deleted my personal records. It's actually wild how quickly you realize just how much of your life was exposed out there. Scammers often use leaked data to send realistic phishing texts that almost trick you into giving away even more. I even discovered one broker had my employment history listed. Imagine a stranger knowing where you've worked, where you live, and even details about your family. That's terrifying. This isn't just a personal issue, it's global. From credit fraud to stalkers showing up at people's homes, even one unremoved profile can cause serious damage. Incogni's new custom removal feature, available on the Unlimited and Family Unlimited plans, lets you point to any people search site or any random website where your info is visible and their privacy team handles the takedown for you. It's like having a personal data cleanup crew on call. 
So if you're ready to protect yourself, go to incogni.com slash Cosmos Prodigy and use code Cosmos Prodigy to get 60% off. Once again, go to incogni.com slash Cosmos Prodigy and use code Cosmos Prodigy for 60% off. Don't wait. Protect your data today. Thanks to Incogni for sponsoring today's video and to you for watching.